Alright, so today we're playing some more of Alkari Crusade. So last night we were playing for five hours, so we have like five to ten hours of videos to render. So for the morning, I think we're just going to see what we learned last night. Because I think last night we learned for the first like seven days we have unlimited stamina. And then we can just keep uh, walking through and exploring different areas to get unlimited resources. So. We can pretty much uh, expand our base as much as we can for the first seven days, and we can keep uh, running things until we're level 50, one of the two. So we're just going to do like a 10 minute clip and then render episode one, do a 10 minute clip, then render episode two, then do a 10 minute clip, then render episode three. So this is going to be, there's going to be like six different clips, it's going to be an hour long probably. We just have to wait for the game to load up. <clears throat> then we could uh, see what cards we had. So it looks like maybe it's done. So last night we found out there's a whole bunch of different cards to unlock. So a whole bunch of different um, girls to add to our team. So Valkyrie Crusade. <clears throat> it's a trading card game. Ah, you have joined an alliance, my lord. You can obtain jewels if you join now. Oh, have you joined an alliance? Uh oh. <clears throat> Special login bonus. Today's SP login bonus. Frostbud 10. Get 8 days left. Jewels 300 hot. Um, so day 2 we got some of those. So this is probably just something at the store or something. It doesn't let us check what's at the store. but So fill up your stamps to get wind up login bonus. Thank you for logging in again. We got a, got a new hero. Looks like. Log in 5 more days and you get wind up. Isn't this wind up? Huh. Level up. So we leveled up to level 15. We're all out of resources. We tried to go to sleep, but then the game was like, no, you can still play. So it kept us online. So added to tower rankings reward. Reissued card exchange ticket. Ranked to the top 700 to get. So we need to go to the tower ranking. Where is the mouse? The mouse isn't moving. There we go. You receive, well, received 300 jewels for logging into Facebook, so it keeps telling us to log in. So, why do we not have any gold? We don't really have too many resources, right? These things, they give us resources, but uh, we just get more from exploring the places. So what can we level up? We're level 15. We could actually level up these storages, right? No, level 16 we have to be. Right, level 15 was for the castle, maybe? Yeah, we could level up the castle. The castle could be upgraded. We get new buildings. We could build... Oh, we could build more storehouses. That's exactly what we need. So, 30 minutes. Sure, we could build that. And this thing we put it was building for 12 hours. It's still building for 2 hours and 43 minutes. So, we probably should just collect these to get those out of the way. And then we could go do some quests or something. We have all the resources we could need. We just can't uh, spend them on anything. So we were going. There was the Ark Witch, and then there was the Demon Event Towers, right? So there's a whole bunch of things. I think the Ark Witches would have expired. So we need to get more battle points. So we go to the Event Chronicle here. We go to this one. Both of them are probably pretty good. So let's try Beginner. Let's just try with level 5, see how that does. So we did um, 3 pretty good, I think. We'll just do that. How many BPs would you like to use? Let's use all of them. Then it's going to say we can't uh, play for like 3 hours or something. Gun smoke and sword blades. This will just give us an opportunity to do something else. So we used max 5. We got these, this huge rare quest thing. All right, so let's see if we could uh, go then. So to continue to the battle. Sure. I'm not sure if we should have brought the fish. I think the fish isn't really good for us, but you're level 36,000. It actually looks like it might be pretty easy. Battle 1-1, one, one. if you only have that much health. Blub, blub, gotta keep trying. There's that stupid fish. So I wonder if that ability, because we were thinking about it last night. We were like, um, what if that ability just means when you're traveling through the different areas, you have an extra chance to pick up the treasure chest that appears. 
so we pull this card has a chance to give 200% attack, so it gives it to a random card and gave it to itself. Then your ability is going to say that uh, all of the ice creatures may attack the enemy, so the enemy didn't even touch us. We got a sure, sure victory. Everybody leveled up. Well, not everybody leveled up. General on settings, we're not worried about those. So we know we can go here for three and three and get a purple ticket. So what was this witch here before? Hunt points. So what is her? Is she an arc witch? So two, two, three, three. It looks like that would uh, be the better option to go to, right? Here's only the usual purple. So we'll go here, we'll go the harder route. So I don't know if it's going to be too much harder, we're going to see. And we don't know if we should have, uh, should have actually taken out the arc, which we're not sure. Play battle one of one. So we just keep clicking and then it will speed through everything and uh, let us go through our turn. All damage has been reduced to ice damage. You've been destroyed in one hit. Victory. And then you leveled up the Slime Queen, or your friendship went up. So we found two more treasure chests. So now we have to see what is in the final place. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three chests, and then some other rewards. It doesn't look like it was too much different than if you used like uh, two, two points. Two battle points. Three battle one of one. So now we have to defeat the boss. Awesome. Is he gonna be difficult? We don't know. I think it was pretty easy, right? So basically, none of our abilities off that. And then we just destroy you in one hit. So, even with five BPs down, didn't seem to be a problem. So, we found all of these treasure chests. It didn't seem to raise the rewards. We covered one battle point, battle point zero to one. So we got two new girls to add to the team. We got uh, some more rewards. Metal slime times five. Huh, so we got the metal slime. Okay, so we have all these points. We got one battle point saved up. So in the morning, we wanted to also go to the event to explore that. To use up all of our battle points, uh, destroying witches, right? So we just basically click here, we go through here, we have five battle points. So we go to the event, and then we could progress forward until a witch comes. This is going to give us uh, tons of resources. We still have uh, unlimited energy, so that seems absolutely amazing. We're level 50, 97,000 hit points. So we should probably try to defeat you. Uh, so the fish isn't in this team. That's all right. No cars past this point. Okay, so you can use your ability to call ice creatures attack at the same time. One, two, three. And then you can get like 2,000. So you're ice related. So I'm going to sort of 1926. The ice character still does a little, tiny bit more damage. Oh, use your ability to call ice creatures may attack the enemy once. Then the main ice bitch will attack again. No abilities triggered, so it's just a constant uh, wondering are my abilities going to trigger to boost up my team before they attack, or are they not going to trigger? Something like that. So we lost, a, we lost a girl, so I think the girls are getting back, so if we increase this, increase the random boosted by the witch 200% more damage, now you're hitting 411,000. Now the pylon has been destroyed and for 10,000 for 7,500. Oh no, she's just going directly for the witch. 5,000. We have to destroy you in two hits. Oh, 1684. You're not even too powerful. Jeez, she destroys our slime. We will be able to destroy you. 1663. Are you going to be able to do it, pylon girl? She did. She did defeat the arc witch. Victory. She has been defeated. Amazing. That was such a close battle. She almost actually defeated us. So everybody levels up. Everyone gets friendship. 
and then if we click on click on the map, wow, well, we could uh, continue going through here, I guess. 94 50s, we got those. Arkwitch has come back again, and then we just defeat another Arkwitch. Alright, and it has been about 10 minutes. So we're just basically going to be going through the story fighting cards, because we do have to render the other episodes, right? Those are going to take like an hour or more to render each episode, and we got five of them. So you got most of your probably going to do the most damage. Oh, then your ability boosts everybody by 50%, so this will be the final battle before the next we're going to be coming back in like an hour or two later, maybe. So if you're in the game, oh, everybody can hit. It's good to have uh, you have 84, 72, 77, 16. So she's the most powerful unit. Here we go. Everybody's attack has been increased by 50%. Fake cold level 1. 12,000 damage. 11,000 damage. 11,000 damage. The armor has been destroyed again, so victory. We get a more rewards, yeah. Everybody seems to be getting all of the level ups. Eventually, some of our characters will be fully leveled up, right? So, let's just um, pause the video. Let's uh, continue advancing here. We'll come back later. There's just so many arc witches to fight. Alright, so we're back again with some more Valkyrie Crusades. We got a victory. So these videos, the one hour videos, they take um, two hours to render if we're playing, but we're leveling up our characters. So level one to level four. This was our first time trying this deck. Uh, let's uh, receive a bunch of rewards, I guess. So if we receive rewards, we get these guaranteed great success. So we've been um, leveling up our cards. Because we notice, um, once we get our, <clears throat> once we get 75 cards, we can't actually pick up anymore. So we had to figure out something to do with the cards. So you get a uh, one hour speed ups. So we've gotten uh, six hour speed ups, like three hour speed ups. That's just for defeating the witches, right? Because <clears throat> then we advance through here. So team team passion seems all right. All these guys, they do uh, direct damage to the enemy if their ability triggers. So, besides doing these things, well, maybe we could do some fight. I think we're recording for like 10 minutes, right? Then we're going to render the video for two hours. Then we'll come back two hours later. But we've been using those um, slimes that you get from the beginner's level. So her activates remaining, deals 250% damage to a single enemy. So she just gets uh, hit straight off right away. She goes in for some damage, maybe, and then she does 400% damage to enemies unable to move for two turns. So that means the enemy is unable to move for two turns, and then this deals 250% damage, unable to move for three turns. And then we notice that it looks like it adds to it. So, in passion, we could just literally chain um, keep them frozen or something. They can't do anything. Although, the ability is not going to treat her all the time. Eventually, we will uh, get through. Although, this does seem pretty cool. It's just, um, you can't use these in the dark dungeon because you have to use ice. Pretty much, um, if you're not using ice, then all the damage is going to be reduced to one. So, looks like, um, Team Passion is really good for the dark witches. And it seems like the... Ice color is good for defeating much demon power, I guess. And then we have it going back to the beginner dungeon a little bit. They give you those guys that give you experience. Those guys that give you gold. We've been um, trying to get all of the trophies. We haven't uh, been successful yet, though. We've gotten a bit more down. And we've also been going to the main campaign a little bit. So if you fail, then you can just try again, and then you'll get a whole bunch of experience when you defeat them. So we've still got some battle points left. Pretty much this uh, seems to be a main part of the game. They just give you um, so much resources. So she comes in, if somebody comes in and helps you, that's an additional 50 friendship. And then once you defeat everything, your level 1 just turned to a level 7. So actually, those experience slimes aren't really as good as I would uh, think they are. 
Let's, let's do something else for a bit here. Let's just advance until we which there we go. And then we won't fight her. I know I have to fight her. We have some battle points. But if we go back to the kingdom. Um, yeah, this thing should be built. We've just been um, upgrading things. We upgraded our ether storage or gold storage. But uh, we're running out of things to upgrade, right? That's level 6. Oh, we could upgrade this a little bit. So that'll take 10 minutes. <clears throat> so we just keep coming back to the base to upgrade stuff. We got to level 17. That's still building in 40 minutes. But then if you go to your cards here, because we were going in the campaign, we were walking through it and it said, um, you have 75 cards, you could not pick up the card that you found. So what we've been doing is you go to sell and then basically you just um, sell all these gold guys. You just get them, uh, you can get them as many as you want from the beginner's dungeon. So we've sold some just to make space. Uh, gold will be deleted. That's all right, you get uh, so many of them. Because uh, all of these cards, the trophies, we'll see what those are about. So if you're going to battle, then if you're going to like the first chronicle, the beginner dungeon, if you click on these, these trophies, it's just a random treasure chest that falls when you're uh, actually running these, right? So this one, we found out what um, two of them are, but there's two random treasure chests that we don't know. So you can just keep on um, running this mission over and over, and then you can just keep uh, trying to get treasure chests of those cards. But I think we're going to try to see if we could find what all of them were. So we're still unsure what that one was. And then if we go to the world map here, if we were to go to the battle main and training ground, I don't think there is our trophy zero of five or trophies is zero of five. So these take so long to progress and go through them, but we haven't gotten any trophies. Maybe you only get the trophies on the second time you go through. We're not 100% sure, because um, if you go to the world map, if you go to the celestial realm, so this would basically be like the first campaign area. It shows that we could get these trophies. So we could um farm this stage and get a whole bunch of that card. And, farm this stage, get a whole bunch of archer, and then whatever the other trophies are. So just on running the campaign, you can get the trophies, they just seem to be random if you encounter an enemy, or if you get a treasure chest which will contain one of these cards. So we got to the next castle here, two to four knights guards, so maybe we could uh, continue here, although they give you so many cards, right? so many cards that we're going to have to keep leveling up. So this unit 2 thing also uh, switches which units you want to progress with. So the fish is alright because she gives you um, a extra drop. Well, that's her ability. It's in the battle. We found out what the fish does. So we have a chance to obtain the card confirmed. So we have 69 out of 75 cards. Once we get a 75 out of 75 then we won't be able to pick up any more cards. Maybe so, we just got another card, right? 70 out of 75. So we just have to keep finding things to do with the cards. So we get these um, green tablets as well. We're not 100% sure what the tablets do. Essentially, the campaigns, they don't give you very good rewards, right? They give you pretty bad rewards, I guess. But um, you have to do mission 4-4 in order to upgrade your base even further. So we've been doing a little bit of um, these as well. So here's her ability, that fish that we don't know what it does. So sometimes it does activate. Activation is confirmed to receive rewards. <laughs> we activate it and apparently there's a treasure chest locked behind her. So after we, uh, after we beat this battle, then we're going to get a treasure chest. So maybe it's based on the trophies. Let me see. Yeah, maybe it is. Now we have 71 out of 75. So eventually, we're gonna have to go to our card storage and uh, sell them. So you could just keep greeting people and get friendship, and then eventually, I imagine you um, just use them to get a bunch of cards later. Because I know there's the free summon that you get. Then you can pay like friendship to summon 10 cards at a time. So it should be insane. So, so we should be able to defeat them. 
enemies, they're not even really hard for these levels, right? It should be really easy. These are low level cards. You don't even need high levels for these. But um, since you got unlimited stamina, essentially, you just keep going. Please forgive me, victory. Let me just click so I can the whip. So, we're not getting too much experience because the battle's probably not too hard. So, we got another card. So, we got a whole bunch of her. So, eventually, congratulations, my lord. Your opponent was powerful, but you defeated them well. With this, we are able to capture another base. So, area has been dominated. So, you just go through the campaign and you complete all these missions. Receive one premium summon ticket. You obtain five jewels. So, <clears throat> we have so many quest rewards to claim, too, right? We have absolutely no reason to claim them. So, we got most of the trophies. We know what they are. We could uh, continue going through here. And then there is also the other one, right? If you go to menu, if you go to battle, we found out that um, there was this endless dungeon. So, essentially, these are like your battle points, the doorways. And then, um, beginner, they just give you so many cards at the end sometimes if you get a whole bunch of chests. But essentially, if you just go to beginner, it seems to be more worth it just to go here if you just spend uh, one battle point. So it's much more worth it because then you can just run more dungeons and get more items. If you do five, it just upgrades your ranking quicker. But maybe, maybe that's incorrect. That's just uh, what we have found out about it so far. So what else is there to do? Basically, editing the units. <laughs> Eventually, you're gonna run out of card space and you're going to have to sell units and then fuse units. So we've been using those experience units, those slimes, we don't have any more of them. Basically, we just go to menu, we go to upgrade, and then, <clears throat> and then we would put a card on it, upgrade. like this ultra rare, it was level one, this super rare, it was level one, and this super rare was level one but if you drag these over here and then if you put the slimes we don't have any regular slimes but these would increase their level quite a bit these slimes are made to give an experience boost whenever you fuse with them which uh, upgrading seems to be what that is so if you fuse them with other characters they don't really get too much experience from them it's just those slimes and then um we we used all these slimes already because we needed to make card space, but we do need to make more card space again. We might just um get rid of these these guys here. Because they're hundred percent useless. We have way more resources than we could ever need, and we continually get more resources, so those guys aren't even worth anything at the moment. We can level them up or something. So another thing that you could do was turn them into metals or something. Right, metal exchange. So it seems any card that is a rare or higher, you could exchange them for metals. Because we noticed uh, there's no uh, nothing lower than a rare on here. So if you get a rare or higher, you could exchange them for metals. The other ones you could what? Sell them and fuse them, I guess. Because from what we understand, if you were to go to upgrade, if we were to fuse the cards, like if we were to evolve the cards. If we were to take like um, these two cards, take you and well, is it because you are in a battle group? Essentially, if you take like two of these same cards that can uh, upgrade, you're not in groups. And if you fuse them together, they make a stronger, more powerful warrior. Although my understanding is uh, from that one video, it said that if you upgrade higher level monsters, then um, they'll get a higher level stats when they evolve. Plus, we're supposed to be using Arcana, so we haven't used any, we've just been saving them. Apparently, these give you extra stats after fusion. Increase the chance of an evolution accident, uh, prevents the occurrence, there's other things, right? Plus 50 to the attack stat after fusion. Uh, increase the card stats after evolution by 5%. So, we're, maybe it uh, depends what their starting stats are when they evolve, and then they evolve depending on what stats are so we're gonna have to be looking into that and then algamoration we're not sure don't remember what this was so is this dude creates a whole new warrior oh maybe we could uh, do amalga amalgation please choose arcana use dude huh, so what's the arcana use for this thing 
plus 52 defense after fusion, plus 52 in attack after fusion. So they become a whole new card. Wow, that's amazing. Can we just use like any card or something? Click and drag on to cancel. Cards, there we go. So, is it only, oh, no, because she's over here. There are no cards that can be used for a Is that what the special cards are for? Maybe the special cards of slimes could have been amalgamated to something, right? So basically, it's just this and the queen, and they fuse together to become some gold queen thing. So that would save card space too, right? If we just fuse the cards together, instead of having 72, we'd have uh, 71 cards. So if we get some regular slimes, we could see if those fuse together as well. So maybe let's do that quickly. So all we have to do is go to battle. Well, our thing was done building. So let's go back to the kingdom quick. Let's try to upgrade some some type of storehouse. So gold storehouse level six. Ether storehouse. Is there a better one? Upgrade ether storehouse level five to level six. There we go. So if we were to go to battle. And if we were to go to the beginner's dungeon, and if we were to click on one of these where we can get the experience thing, where we don't know what the other trophies are, we might as well try to see what they are. Um, so we've just been using this party, so we can just advance. These are maybe just going to level up a little bit, and then the fish will find us some more trophies, hopefully. So essentially, we're just looking for a treasure chests to drop. And then if a treasure chest drops with that experience girl, then we could um, check out the amalgamation thing. Because we know our characters aren't going to be high level, so we got her. We already have her already. So we only have room for two more cards, so the area boss. <coughs> so, we didn't get the experience card before. That's alright. Yeah, so her ability went off, so we have a chance to, or we have a guaranteed item for her, from her when we defeat her. So basically, we can go through and destroy the boss of the area, and we get the victory. And then everybody levels up, and then we get a treasure chest, which is the slime. Perfect. So it gives experience. So that fish actually is really amazing. So then she'll give you the same text that you got before. Now let's um try that out. Let's go to upgrade, I believe it was. And if we go to amalgamation, try to fuse these with the regular slime. Oh, it can't uh, fuse with the regular slime. Cause we did get that card. Hmm. So we're not even sure. So you can fuse the Slime Queen with this guy to create that guy. It's just I don't want to use my Slime Queens. Although, we probably should, but they're both level 1. We should use some higher leveled guys. Just the problems, right? Because <laughs> we can't really replace those Slime Queens really easily. We don't know how to get them. But essentially, we should um, figure out what to do with our cardstock here and then uh, render the video. So we'll be back in like 2 hours again. we got a whole bunch of new cards to go through. we got a... Uh, New cards, all enemies can't move for one turn, so that seems pretty cool. You can always click to see the cards, although they're always turned sideways for some reason. They're turned, turned sideways for some reason. But there's the heroes we could get in the game. Oh, they just double click to go out. Alright, so now we're back again. So this literally uh, is actually two hours later, so we've been able to make a little bit of progress. But you could see... Um, it let us expand these top areas in the beginning, right? But now it says uh, required level 15, so we got the level 15. We just need to clear area 4-4. Considering it uh, takes so many resources, we might as well get this as soon as we can. So we've been going to battles. Now we go to battle over here. And actually, we keep running out of card space. So we go to Chronicle. So this is where we need to defeat stage 4-4 Cool Blue. So once we uh, defeat this, we can actually expand our base more. 
shadows and imps. They are common common demons of the eerie black shadows that sometimes appear in the battlefield in the world of the gods. Many have sought to find out what they have, uh, what they want and why they fight, yet none have arrived at an answer. And then we're at the Snowlands. So this is the base of the blue people. If the girls who rule the ocean protect the Lord, then our opponent will be a powerful one. So we got to progress and advance and try to get some more cards, except that we have uh, 75, so we can't even pick up the card. I thought it said that we had uh, 74 in the collection, right? Because if we're going to upgrade, so I hmm, wonder where we got that extra card from. So if we go to evolution, we've been trying to evolve all of the girls that we've caught. Basically, the ones that we know that we could uh, get again somehow, because we know we already have you, and we can evolve you once into a new, a new stronger girl, I guess. So that clears uh, one card space, but now we just don't have any card space anymore, right? We could pick up uh, one more card, but then once we pick up that one card, we're not going to be able to do anything. Cause we're, we were trying to level up all the characters to the max level, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be possible. We just can't uh, level them up enough. Cause I mean, we could like uh, combine the lacrosse player, because we know we can get more of her. And we could uh, combine these other girls, but we've already fuse them as much as we can by the looks of it. So we wanted to either fuse just level 1s together or fuse like um, other things together. So we need to get some more card space somehow. Something like that. Because once these get up to level 40, we were going to try to fuse them. And same with this Ice Wizard. I think we could get the Ice Wizard again. It's just that she's in uh, one of our parties. So if we go to battle, <coughs> so we might uh, miss up on a few cards, I guess. We've been uh, doing the witches, so we just want to go through here and try to, uh, try to essentially finish this one. So there's the there's the girl that we just unlocked. Well, the girl that we just seen anyway. So basically, this fish is pretty cool. She just gives you uh, more items and more cards as you're playing the game. You don't really get too much experience from these enemies. So we can hit the recover all button and then recover everything. I think we needed to uh, build, upgrade something at the kingdom, right? If we go back to the kingdom, we could um, maybe upgrade something to level 6. So if we find something level 5, we could just upgrade it. It takes 10 minutes. Then uh, if this iron works level 5, we can upgrade it. That takes 10 minutes. So we're always coming back to this place to upgrade buildings. And then we're always uh, going back to this place to try to finish off the chapter to be able to expand the pace. Plus, um, plus all the dungeons we've been running and then um, plus the the vents. The vents are what gives you all of the experience. It gives you so much experience for doing the events. So all of I put all of our team to sleep for one turn. Oh, and then here comes the ability. Here you want to claim the cards, and then now there's a chest behind the enemy, so you just destroy the enemy, and then we're uh, going to get a treasure chest at the end of the battle, just because of that fish that we thought was useless. So we get a card. 75, so it seems is that we already have the maximum amount of cards. So what do we do with them? We could go to the kingdom and uh, sell those other cards, I guess. Because we could easily get more of them. So, I think it was an edit unit. So we actually wanted to see how much gold I had. We made a mistake, right? It's just that uh, we're going to be getting uh, unlimited amounts anyways. It just seems ridiculous. Sell you, sell you, sell two cards, excess gold wall. So that's why you want the market. Because in the market, you could trade your gold to buy other resources, right? You go to the market, you go to exchange, you can exchange every 10 minutes or something. We exchange gold for ether or iron. So we'll just get um, ether. We'll just exchange like 20,000 gold or something. Because we don't want to fill up everything. So we'll exchange gold for ether and then we go to our cards we go to edit and then we can sell the guys that are worth gold and then in uh, 10 minutes we could exchange them again 
Scrap these units so they do sell for a little bit more when they're fused. It's just uh, we have no reason to use them because there's uh, so, so many cards in the game. You only have so many in your party. So we can sell those two units. That clears up two spaces, but then that still doesn't exactly solve the problem. Maybe one of the rewards gave us some more card capacity, but hmm. cleared up two spaces anyways. Then if we, so the doors are going to unlock after we spend our battle points. Basically, I want to try to finish off a four dash four cool blue. And maybe we shouldn't even be worrying so much about the cards. Maybe we should just be worrying about just getting to the end of the mission because we realize cards are going to be destroyed anyways. We don't have them out, but um, maybe faster to just uh, focus on the mission at hand and just complete this castle here. So we can uh, in turn expand our castle. Basically, this game is giving us uh, seven days of unlimited stamina. Might as well do as much as you can. Then. So yeah, there's a chest. So the good thing about these gems is they don't take up a card inventory spot. So if you ever get a gem, see that's perfect. It's those it's those cards when you because <laughs> then you're always worried about your inventory space. So when you got 75 cards, you're like, uh, we don't want to encounter any cards to pick up because uh, we won't be able to pick it up. And then if you're just selling for like 100 gold, oh, there's the ability. So now we get an extra reward just because she can't help us. Jewel, perfect. So we have uh, absolutely no idea what the jewels do. We've just been uh, gathering them, I guess. So somebody came to assist us. So there is like a uh, Disgaea, Disgaea characters in this game. We know that. I think uh, we can get Disgaea characters if we figure out how to get them. Really, really good that we're just getting jewels. If we were getting cards, we would have had to go back to our card space and uh, fuse some cards or sell some cards. So we could uh, recover everything for free since we're in the beginner period for seven days. Because uh, you don't really have to choose them. All you have to do is choose um, which card is attacking and then uh, which uh, opponent is that card attacking. So it's kind of uh, kind of like something I was going to make. It's pretty interesting. And I was like, well, this game's already made, so I don't want to get anything like that. So you preach you and then you still get the friendship point. So we don't know if there's a cap of the friendship points. Maybe we should uh, check into that to make sure. So area boss, this one we just want to recover everybody. So she looks like she's kind of a pirate character. So I have to watch out for her. She probably has some underhanded tactics. Oh, the He's just uh, I'm sorry. We skipped all the text. <laughs> we could uh, we always come back to the mission and then we could uh, read all the text. So I imagine there is some kind of cool story that has been unfolding since we, since I have been reading all the text. So the boss battles are pretty insane. Like, so she's been destroyed. So hopefully this team can handle this boss. This team is not meant to be strong. This team is meant to really uh, find some extra items and uh, get some extra experience from all the people. Uh, so actually we weren't able to do it. We might have to stop. Hmm. So we did heal everybody. So I'm sure I'm sure these guys could do it. We'll try we'll try again. We don't want to change up our team. We don't want to. Well, the other guys, if we had them in the team, that would uh, actually actually be. Sure. Oh, 
We've leveled up these queen slimes quite enough anyways. Maybe we could put some offensive in here. So at level 14 queen slimes and then maybe some ice. Uh, I can throw the ice wizard in here. Oh, she's already in an attack group. That's right. So maybe we could level you up a little bit. then you evolved, you're just gonna be like level one, so you're not gonna be able to really do anything. Maybe we shouldn't be bringing level ones to the party. They'd be even worse than what we have in the party. So the ally recovers 30% HP. Maybe we shouldn't be changing it up too much. Maybe we should just add like one powerful unit or something. But um, she's in the other groups. Oh, there's the witch. So, maybe we just switch out the witch. Uh, we'll do attack group 3, so the witch can come help out. There we go. That should work. And then, maybe we could um, do something else. So, if we for everybody, now this battle should be no problem. So, we just really want the fish in here for the items, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and just the slimes, just because they get bonus experience, I guess. So, those were the only ones we were wearing, but, oh, if somebody came to help us with our friendship, and our friend just one shot at the enemy, we wouldn't uh, even have to worry about attacking them, I guess. Huh. So, our friend came and helped us in the end, after all that deck building. Congratulations, my lord, you conquered the base splendidly. With this, we are one step closer to bringing tranquility to the world of the gods. Area has been dominated, so another area completed. And that was 4 4, so we get all of these rewards. You can now expand the kingdom 4 times, 5 times, 6 times. So that's pretty much um, why we were completing mission 4 4. So now, if we go back to the kingdom. Now if we go back here, we can actually spend all of our resources to expand this. We just need a little bit more steel by the looks of it, yep. So if we spend a whole bunch of resources, we can expand this. So it's just a really good uh, money sink, right? So we're probably going to have a whole bunch of extra resources. Now we have an extra place to spend all these resources. So, considering all of that, maybe we'll just um, pause this clip and then we'll render the other video and then we'll come back in another uh, two hours, I guess. So we're just going to battles, except for the only the only problem with this uh, game is the, uh, <laughs> is the inventory space problem. 73 out of 75. Because if we go to quests, we go to completed, we go to 70 rewards available. We know there's probably rewards here to give us something, right? This gives us gold and experience, and we don't exactly want to level up really quick. Castle level 4, that just gives us uh, resources. Iron works, that probably just gives us resources. Farm works, gold storehouse, that just gives us resources. Obtain rare metal. What's the reward here? Rare metal 40. Attack or EXP, hit comrade, friendship points, build the market, experience. So we're not sure. Maybe there's uh, nothing that's going to help us actually expand that. Oh, 
save gold and maybe expand the kingdom. Get ace. <clears throat> Gives you ace, 10 arcage victories, 30 victories, 50 victories, XP and Falkyrie sword. Card level 20. Level up the cards is good, just give you French one. 30 kinds of end cards, French and much experience challenge. So I don't think we're going to find the rewards. Oh, deck cost limit plus 50. Maybe we'll claim that one. So this one we'll claim. Upgrade fusion. Quest complete. So how do we claim the reward? Oh, it's details because we already claimed those ones. Hmm. So I guess, <clears throat> I guess let's just go here. Let's just go sell, sell that card. And absolutely no idea how we're going to clear inventory space from that because we already fused those girls together. And then the game's just going to keep giving us cards, right? Because we have like a one, two, three of those. Those are fused. We have two of those. Those are fused characters. We have those ones. So let's um, sell you. And then we just got a one inventory space. So now we got 72 cards. Alright, so we're back again another two hours later. So, one of the uh, missions even told us about it, right? If we go to the world map, go to Crystal Realm, or Celestial Realm, I think it was uh, this one maybe, Fiery Road. Because if we start this, it uh, tells you about evolving the girls, right? Arc Witches, race that occasionally appear on the battlefield, possesses unparalleled power and unbalanced in the world of the gods. They are the greatest threat to the world of the gods. So this time this land has a strong red element. I suppose we will have to challenge the blue people alone. Maybe it was the next one or something. Maybe it was actually that one. If we go to the Chronicle, which one was it? <clears throat> was it uh, this one? Or it could have been this one maybe. So what does 5-2 say? Arc witches appear out of nowhere and leave a path of destruction wherever they go. However, they never remain at one place and leave in due course. Their existence is that of natural disasters like whirlpools and typhoons. Um, are you struggling to subdue an arc witch, my lord? If you subdue an arc witch, you can obtain various rewards. Certainly, you can do it with your strength. But this wasn't the place either. It must have been the next one. Because it teaches you about uh, evolving all of your girls to make them stronger. Maybe it was 5 3. Arc witches are powerful, but don't give up if you send a request for reinforcements to your comrades. You can certainly subdue them with your powers combined. So I wonder where it was. Oh, because we did uh, we did 4 4, so we got a uh, way ahead or something. Oh, this was 4 4. Maybe it was actually this one. We're not sure. Well, we'll just continue going through here. Generally, she said um, all of your cards here. That's why we were doing the earlier battles. Because if we go to edit, and if we were to go to upgrade, and if we were to fuse all of our girls together, if we were to go to evolution, we were to evolve them. Like if we took uh, these two here, if we were to evolve them, apparently she said um, that will evolve into a alright girl. But if uh, this was like a higher level, and this was a higher level, so it said if you level them up before you evolve them, they will be stronger in the end. So they said you could have uh, pretty powerful girls, but they said if you want the most powerful girls, then you're going to have to level them up and then evolve them. So instead of evolving, we've actually thought about just um, upgrading, right? Because it just uh, levels up all of your girls, because you just uh, bring them here, right? If we just took like a base level one girl, we throw her here, and we were to upgrade with uh, just some card we picked, right? If we have like her, she's a fully evolved girl almost, except um, she evolved from level one girl, so we're probably just going to get rid of her. But if this is just like an extra card to bring her from level 1 to level 2 and then level uh, up to level 4. So basically all your extra cards could just um, level up the girl. 
If you notice, this uh, brings it to level two to four. It uh, doesn't give any more experience when you when you uh, fuse the cards together. So you might as well just um, farm base cards and then just uh, use those base cards to upgrade your characters. And I believe we tried leveling up the gold guy. He didn't uh, give us more gold or anything. And these did not really seem to give too many more extra levels. I mean, it brings it uh, one up to level nine, but if it was leveled up a little bit, maybe we'll just go check that out real quick. So we'll just do another clip here. We're done rendering episode three, I think. So we just have episode four and episode five. So that means another four hours of rendering. So if we were to go here and take out the level 10, because we we're just leveling we up to try something, but if we, instead of just fusing all the level 1 girls together, we could just use all the cards to upgrade a girl and then uh, get her to max level and then and then fuse them after they are max level. That uh, seems to be what you're supposed to do, right? Because if we have uh, some level 1 girl want to upgrade her, if we were using these, we would just give the 1 level. But if you got these uh, slimes, you can farm to level 1 to 16 after she goes to level 10. And the level 1 would bring it up uh, 1 to level 8. So it gives a plus 8 level. So that's actually really good. Maybe we're just going to farm these and then just level these up. And then uh, we're going to go through the game. We're going to get all the cards based on where they start at, right? So if we go to battle here, if we go to the beginner dungeon. We can see we already found all the trophies in the first level, right? So we could farm these ones, we could farm these four resources, and then maybe we could um, level up this girl and then evolve her as much as she can, level up this girl, evolve her as much as she can, see how powerful she is, and then um, try to see if there's any other trophies that we haven't found yet in these places. Maybe there isn't, maybe they're all the same, but uh, we won't know until we uncover all the question marks, right? I guess basically it looks like they are basically all the same, right? All the rewards are gonna be like this, the war trophies. But when you go to the world map to the Celestial Realm 1, when you do these trophies, if we scroll over, it would say you get a whole different girls to upgrade and level up and evolve so we get the archer girl the other girl and then um, her and then we don't even know what the other trophies are if they could be anything but here there's like one two three four new girls to collect and level up and evolve so there's way way too much to do in this game with all the all the different girls you can get oh and then we'll do one more quick thing right because if you were to go to edit unit if you were to go to sell unit for some reason it doesn't increase the sell price when you level up the units. When you combine them and evolve them it does raise the price a little bit but barely but who needs gold? So if we were to go here and we uh, leveled up the gold giving guy to level 13 he still sells for 20,000 gold. So seems there's absolutely no reason to level these guys up right even leveling them up. Maybe the auto skill battle experience we're not even sure so might as well just sell her as soon as you get her. The only reason to get her is just to sell her for 20,000. She doesn't give you any benefits for leveling up. Although these experience boosting guys, they uh, do give you benefits for leveling them up. So maybe when we come back, it'll be two hours later. Maybe our entire uh, group of cards will be all exchanged. We'll get rid of those ones that we wasted time evolving and fusing together and then we'll just get all the base girls and level up the base girls we only have to level them up to level 30 right so let's start um farming the experience farming the resource gold guys and then um getting all the basic girls even from the beginning of the game see what they could do and then get to the later girls in the game all right so this is actually another two hours later so we rendered episode four so now it's just episode five and then this is episode six we have to render this one so we're gonna be up for a while just doing this so we came back because we ran into a problem we have a 67 out of 75 cards but we were doing missions and then if we were to go to summon units they said that we have a maximum friendship so there actually is a maximum to friendship that's why we stopped for a little bit, not too long, but if we go to try to summon different girls, regular summon, one free summon daily, you can also summon with friendship points. So we get a free summon, perform a free summon, 
And so apparently you could have a uh, 9,999. So we got another experience uh, cards. That's really good. That's all right. Um, Cause we have a whole bunch of those. So one free summon. So we use the summon. We could use 100 to get a one, or we could use 700 for seven. So we might as well use our friendship. Uh, we don't have room for seven, do we? Five, six, seven. We do have room for seven. That's why it's only 700 for seven. That's why we have to go to our units and uh, maybe upgrade them. So uh, we got the ultra rares. We actually got this ultra rare from a chest just for defeating enemies and completing the quests. Well, not the quests, just for uh, defeating the witches. But we got her. Maybe we should actually level her up or something. So we could use all these um, slimes that we got. I think we've been getting a whole bunch and we've been getting way too many different girls that we don't want to just uh, throw away though. So if we just use like a higher level slime, it'll bring it to level 1 to 24. Oh, should go up to level 70? So that's going to take a long time. 32, but essentially these just uh, level them up to ridiculous amounts super quick. So that's pretty cool. 1 to 32, and then it'll give us more card space. Cause we could uh, get more of these slimes, we could level more of them up, well, at the moment. So if we just use these, should go to level 132, or we could use our canas to uh, use to upgrade fuse and receive guaranteed trade success. So if we check that, it would bring it up to 41. This one does like, uh, doubles the amount of experience gained, so bring it up to 51. So if we were really using a whole bunch of high experience things, we probably would use it, right? So we are getting a whole bunch of them. What is this? Plus 50 to card defense stats after fusion. Or kind of strong defense. Uh, 550 own 12 of one. Uh oh. Okay. So when you upgrade the cards, they you can use those to just increase their stats or something. So we know even less than about this than we thought we did. So maybe we uh, shouldn't upgrade her. So let's go back to the cards. We are still learning things apparently. Let's try to upgrade the lacrosse girl or one of the other girls, the archery girls. There's just so many, so many girls to choose from, right? So we could throw you on here. Then we try to upgrade you. So we could use this. That'll bring you right up to level 23. And then if we use that one, it'd bring you above level 30. So that would be a waste. If we do that, it'd bring you up to level 28. So we got to try to find something where we don't really waste anything. Because uh, the level 7 would help out. So if we don't need the 18 one, what if we go here, 23, 28, 30. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, that would bring it to 30 as well. <clears throat> 1029. Hmm. So where do you bring this lower? So we're just trying to figure out if we waste these. This might take a while. Because so we get a 27 with that or 28. So what's the, what's the math here? Maybe we should just use them. Because that brings it up to 24. That brings it up to 30. If we didn't have this one in the party. So how do we remove that one from the party? Let's remove all these characters from the party then. Because we have to use all this friendship. And we have to get you out of the party. Where's the level 8 one? Uh, we're not sure where the level 8 one is. So we're not sure what this section is for, so we'll just take you all out of here. We don't know what that section does. It must have at least one card in a unit. Hmm. She's ready. Oh. We're not 100% sure, but it seems like um maybe we fixed this up. Oh, why is there a second, second group there? Anyways, let's go to try to upgrade the card again. 
because now those other ones should be available. So I think we're just going to try to upgrade, because we already upgraded this one fully, just evolving her with a level 1 creature, so I imagine she could be much, much stronger if we used um, actually leveled up, leveled up creatures. That means we would have to get another lacrosse girl, and we'd have to level up uh, other ones as well. So let's just see if all these slams are available. Now they are. So we're going to 23, level 29. I think that's pretty much the closest we could get, right? Maybe that's way too much. <laughs> if we take the 15, we just throw two 12s on there, and then. Because oh, I wouldn't do it, right? So we'd have to use the seven one. So we could bring her all the way straight up to level thirty, or maybe we should just bring them to just about there, and then um later we could just uh, uh, finish leveling them up, right? This way we're one hundred percent sure that we're not wasting any. And there's also a chance for a great success, and that would mean that she would get even more levels. So you could see she just leveled up uh, tremendously just by using all those experienced characters that they give you. So we got a level 27 character like that. So we could just um, level up all the characters like that, I guess. Maybe see if a uh, stone girl is probably 100% useless, but if we level her up, then it'll get rid of our curiosity, because we will no longer, longer be uh, wondering if she's useless or not. We'll just level her up to level 28. Cool, 22,757 percent. So we're trying to get more inventory space here. So if we just throw her back there, and then we could um level up a another one. It's like, which one do we want to level? Because we know we just started receiving those ones. Because we know that we're just getting those ones in the campaign missions. So we just there you go 17. And then that'll work. Upgrade you to level 27. And then there's also the chance of the great success if that does happen. Then she'd probably go straight to level 30. Seems to be random, but you can use those cards to guarantee the great success, so her stats go up tremendously. I mean, uh, we haven't uh, really been looking at her stats compared to what they were when they start when you upgrade her. Maybe we'll throw her in there and start um, leveling her up a little bit. So this is a good way to clean up inventory space after you have um, leveled these up. So, using her will bring her straight all the way up to level 26, and then her will bring her up to level 28. Shit, I'll bring her all the way to level 29. So we'll just use that one. And she will be level 29, so I believe their max level is like level 30 for the rare cards, and level 40, and then it's level 50, and then they can be up to level 70 for the even rarer cards. And then eventually we'll be able to collect all of them. So it looks like if we're using up two cards each time, then eventually we're gonna have some more space again. So this card's absolutely amazing, the one that gives you more items. We even upgraded her ability to level five. So we can maybe level her up a little bit. She's already level five. So now she's level 25. I'll just use one of them. Just uh, this is better than fusing the cards anyways. And then for the beginner's dungeon, we actually unlocked uh, all, everything for the beginner's dungeon. Maybe for the next character, we'll just see how big the stats go up compared to what they were before. So if we just find like one more character to level up, so you're level two. <laughs> 
so now we're gonna have more space to go back and find more of these slimes. So if we level you up. Uh, Sharpshooter's grown from attack 2055 up to 3200, defense 1600 to 2600. So I think uh, one of those is said it rose up to like over 4,000 attack, over 4,000 defense. Maybe that was a stronger card or something. We do have room for 10 cards now. So maybe we could just um level you up or something, or just a level one. So I guess this clip is just us um using these items to actually level up characters. So that's probably probably what you should be doing, I guess. And you can even uh, click to speed it up, right? Because her attack and defense is higher, and she's a lower level. So maybe her ability is not as good as the other character, though. But now, if we go to summon, maybe we'll just summon some characters because we used all of our friendship up. But then we're going to have no card space again. So there we go. We can use 1,000 friendship at a time to summon 10 cards. So let's see what 10 cards we can summon. So we got a new card, new card, new card, and then we got some duplicates. So these ones we could just get from running the missions, and then her we can't. So that one we could get from running the missions. So I guess you get them this way and running the missions. So maybe there's actually no reason to um, stay at certain missions to keep running missions forever. So might as well just use the last eight to fill up our card pool and then see what cards we get. So then we're gonna have to get rid of a whole bunch of them. Right, we got one, two, three, four, four new cards. So it's way, way too many cards that we're gonna have to level up. So we got another one of those. So now, now we can actually get rid of our old cards. The number of cards you were carrying is full, reduced by selling or performing fusion or by upgrading. I don't think we have any level 30s yet. But essentially, when your inventory is full again, you just want to upgrade the cards. Use all the duplicates you got, I guess. I guess we got more of her, so we upgrade her then. So eventually, we're gonna have all the cards upgraded as much as they can be. <clears throat> Hopefully. Which would involve um, leveling them up uh, before you upgrade them. So, we'll just uh, keep doing this. We'll upgrade this one last card and then we'll probably pause the clip and we'll render the other video and then we'll be back in two hours. But essentially, we're getting more and more girl cards unlocked. So, we'll level up. Um, so, her stats went up tremendously. Awesome. Yes, we have one space. So, even with the uh, base, our kingdom's looking better, I think. We're just not sure what to do. It's just always the inventory space is the problem. Although we're trying to find a way to get around it. <laughs> just so ridiculous. Always so much inventory space. There's just always so many different characters to unlock. So many different, uh, all enemies cannot move for one turn. That sounds really cool. All right, so now we're back again with some Valkyrie Crusade. This is like two hours later, probably a bit more than two hours. So this video, it's a bit more than an hour. So we're actually up to render this video. We've been doing uh, these events, going through the dungeons, right? And then you do the event chronicles. We're basically done this. It's just this uh, one battle that we have to do. He's way too hard. We have to get some stronger girls. Uh, we've been defeating a whole bunch of witches, right? If we go to our inventory, we've gotten a whole bunch of rewards that we can claim later. <clears throat> but um, besides doing all of these, you could also duel other players. So we found that out. We found uh, you can duel a player every five minutes. And then you could obtain these uh, cards that just give you all of the experience. So actually there is a way to get these uh, rare these rare metal slimes as well. So those are better than the basic slimes. Those would be good for leveling up. All you need to do is collect all of the flags or collect all of the gems or collect all of the tablets that you get from doing the campaign missions. So you can just keep rerunning the campaign mission over and over and then just get all the tablets and then get more uh, experience by the looks of it. 
Although the first time that you uh, complete them, they give you a special card, right? Because we already completed all of these once. We got a card, we got two different cards. So it says if we get this uh, jewel, we can actually get this card as well. So we get a medic card. A single ally recovers 70% health. So that's probably pretty good. So we could go here, click on the question mark, and then we could try to edit our team. Um, we don't want unit three, we wanted uh, unit one. Yeah, one our strongest team for doing PVP. <clears throat> then we can click uh, recover all. And then everybody's recovered, and then we can actually battle against other players. So it's pretty cool when you uh, com collect all the relics, and it's like you c uh, collected this card, and then it shows a cool uh, cutscene. Oh, something like a cutscene. So all of our heroes would come on, she'd do the deal 400% damage to all enemies. So it looks like we don't have too much health, looks like we just won the PvP battle instantly. So we didn't uh, get experience, but we got the jewel. So like I said, we just get these from doing the campaign missions as well. But then now we completed our first set. If you wish to collect the reward now, if you wish to get the reward later, you can do so from collect. So we save the other ones, but we'll just uh, get this one. Oh, sacred relic completed uh, three types. So we can receive the reward because we have everything. Once the other one for the flags. Oh, because we already completed that one. So it must have just sent it to the collection box. So we could receive, see what happens, receive the medic as a reward. So now we have a new card. And then we could uh, unlock these metal slimes, I guess. Okay, I was just checking something. Oh, and then we also uh, joined an alliance, right? So, the, so if we go to menu, if we go to alliance, we're actually in an alliance now. So we we're trying to go to the goddess worship. She told us everything about it, but it says uh, you have not fulfilled the acquisition requirements. So I'm not sure what that means. General members can pray at altars. You have not uh, offered enough to this goddess. Will not descend until the gate is full. So we can't uh, offer anything. Though maybe at some point we could offer something. And then we could get some new cards. Hopefully. So what else was there? Pretty much we're just working on the kingdom. Just doing the battles and everything. Beginner's dungeon. So we're doing these. Maybe we could just continue through the chronicle I guess. Oh, okay, so we were we were doing some battles here So we were trying the different uh, units out. So we just uh, started making this uh, blue blue team Whatever this team is Got a level 29 that we leveled up. She's almost leveled up and then we got some uh, level ones that we're going to level up And uh, level 10 to help her just in case she can't defeat the enemies or something Although, when she goes to level 30, we're going to have to switch her out because uh, she won't be gaining any experience because level 30 would be the highest level you could be. So, I think that would have her. Deals 150% damage to an enemy, so her ability to trigger, and then how much damage does she do? 838. So maybe this uh, level 10 could just pull a team of level 1s along or something. So we're just getting experience for pulling them through. So essentially, that's what we're doing. We're just um, making new decks and trying to unlock new cards and uh, level up all the different uh, cards that we got. So 150% damage. Uh, you could do. Well, let's see what I remember. So you could, you could actually save your abilities, right? If you don't need to use your ability now, you can save it, and then she'll always have it. All allies remember. So this uh, clan seems to do with uh, healing all of its allies. The ice clan seem to be uh, doing a whole bunch of burst damage. The other clan seem to be a uh, control clan. This one seems to be a uh, healing clan. Something like that. So maybe we'll come back in uh, two and a half hours when the video is rendered. And then uh, we'll finally be caught up on videos and then we could say Tomorrow, there will probably only be one video to render instead of uh, six videos. 
so cool this is the game so far it's pretty sweet you just uh collect cards and you could just go attack things forever and there's uh, so many things to do in the game 